There is a lot of uncertainty in the world today, and a single outage can be costly, as companies are embracing digital transformation, a fragmented approach to managing risk is no match to unwanted attacks or disruptions to your business. See how PGL Bank stopped fighting battles of the past and built an operational resilience program by embedding risk and engaging stakeholders across workflows to position themselves for a resilient future. Meet Becky, Chief Risk Officer. Before she joined PGL Bank, a migration project had gone sideways. Nearly 80% of their customers were locked out from their bank accounts, costing them millions in remediation and compensation claims. Her challenge now is to protect PGL Bank from any disruption while they aggressively modernize their infrastructure and improve customer satisfaction. Her strategy is to establish a foundational risk program by bringing three groups on the ServiceNow platform, the business continuity and DR team, to ensure services can recover quickly, risk teams to proactively look at all risks on a continuous basis, and all the service owners since 80% of risks are found by the front line. Becky and her team started with identifying PGL Bank's 15 critical services and their dependencies using a Business Impact Analysis, or BIA. This immediately engaged teams and brought in validated data. Now they can track red flags or indicators of instability. Let's now take a 360 look at the critical service retail payments. We can see the technology, supplier, and facilities assets that this service depends on. Once this data was brought in via the BIA, the operational data such as change requests, failed controls, incidents, and outage data can bubble up. If they had this during that migration project, they would have seen these red flags go off the charts. But top of mind today is extreme weather predicted in the southern U.S. Becky reaches out to Jane Chipley, business continuity director, to see who could potentially be affected. And Jane has already been monitoring this. Thanks to the validated data, she can be confident about what locations, data centers, and vendors she's tracking. And the benefits of the validated data keep multiplying. With an integration to GDAC and the National Weather Service, she can get real-time alerts. And within a few clicks, she can communicate directly to the right people. Jane notices that there's a new vendor that might be affected named Cloud Crew. She knows the risk team and the vendor management team have been collaborating on a process to bring new vendors into the risk program. That takes us to Andrew. From the risk workspace, he proactively tracks reputational, cyber, as well as regulatory risks across the company. Andrew opens the heat map workbench to show how they have created the risk vendor resilience. For vendors like Cetera Solutions, he explains to Jane when vendors onboard, there are minimal controls that are put in place, such as vendors must have a continuity plan or a batch program, and that backups are tested and taken frequently. The heat map workbench is always a great way to start risk discussions. It's all based on the common risk register. So now everyone speaks the same risk language. No more spreadsheets and no more tedious risk calculations to wait for. They reach out to the vendor management team for a status on Cloud Crew's onboarding. Adam, the Director of Vendor Management, has been a great partner in embedding risk into the onboarding process. Adam confirms that the Cloud Crew team has been onboarded and key supplier insights are flowing in from third-party supplier rating providers like BitSight and Enteros. He's just waiting on two things, a risk assessment from Karen Zombo in the business who understands the engagement with PGL Bank and Cloud Crew and the continuity plan from the Cloud Crew team themselves. Let's take a look at what they see. When Karen logs into the employee portal, she will see her risk tasks, like the risk assessment that she needs to complete for the Cloud Crew team. Here she will be guided to select the right risks and controls. We've come a long way from spreadsheets. And there's also a dedicated secure portal for each vendor. Here, Alex, the account manager for Cloud Crew, can view engagements that they are supporting. And we can be confident that Alex will get the business continuity plan submitted. Once the risk assessment from Karen and the continuity plan from Alex is submitted, the data will flow in and we can easily connect the dots from risk to compliance and even audit. So far, the benefits of this program are tremendous. We've broken down functional silos in our organization, automated 45% of our manual tasks, saved some money, reduced recovery time of our critical services from days to hours. More importantly, people are engaged. 
Risk is embedded across the company on a single system of action. We've implemented a scalable risk program. We tell our business partners with this much risk and resilience embedded into our daily work and workflows, they can go forth and transform securely and confidently.